Yo, what it do, man? This is Grindface and the Therapist, man. I'm Demetrius, and this is my wife. Simeon. We've been together for 28 years, marriage for 23, 22, but who's counting? This is episode five, man. You are not your title. So we're going to be tapping in on people with titles and how they throw that title around and just think they the person because they got a title in front of the name. Talk to them, Sunil. Many times you see people. Okay, so I just want to. I always like to give life stories. I feel like it's most the things you go. Hold on. Oh, yeah, she yawning all on the show and stuff. Like, come on, man. How, how unprofessional <laughs> is that? Like, come on, man. You. Oh. First of all, get, get the crust out your eye. Like, look at that. But do y'all see the grind don't stop, man. We're going to make it do what it do and, and just get to work. But uh, back to titles and people that they feel like they're above you because they got a title in front of their name. And she's over here yawning still. And then it's like, come on, man. She must party all night last night or something. Like, yeah, right. come on. I'm tired. Um, well, I'm not tired. I'm just, um, so I like to give stories or life experiences because I feel like, um, you know, when people tell me their life stories, I resonated with it. But anyways, I remember, you know, growing up in the church, and there was a big thing about titles, you know, pastor, minister, evangelist, apostle, blah, 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 blah. You only can sit on the front row if you got a title in your name. That wasn't my experience. I, now, this is a stretch. But I grew up, you know, my dad's a pastor. My uncle's a pastor now, an apostle. Um, so I grew up, you know, from come from a very religious, spiritual background. Some are religious, some are spiritual. Um, but I saw this in the church where people were treated based on titles. Like, for example, um, people would do things for myself and my cousins because who our, our fathers were. Um, and it was coming from an ulterior motive, like a, a negative place. Like, they would do things for us and act like it was genuine, but really they were only doing it because who our parents were. So I start to see early on, like, this title stuff carries weight but I didn't really feed into it like to me it was a turnoff because like for example my dad was single at the time and a lot of women would try to befriend me get close to me you know do things for me but it was really in hopes of you know getting in a relationship with my father and so I began the you know to see the manipulation in the play but then I also thought back like you know if he wasn't a pastor you know how would the relationships, how would you treat me then? Fast forward, you know, I'm in grad school getting my master's um, to be a licensed marriage and family therapist. And my dad was like, why don't you just do the extra three years to get your side D and become a psychologist? But I'm like, it really didn't make sense to me because I'm like, the only difference is the title. Yes, they could do psych assessments, but we could do a psychologist and a therapist can pretty much do this, everything, this, do everything the same except for psych assessments. I never had a... Uh, desire to do psych assessment. So I said, Dad, the only reason why I would go to school for three more years would be for the title. And for me, it just felt so vain. It just felt like, why would I go to school just for a title? And so I didn't do it. Um, needless to say, fast forward, current. So years later, pastor came to me, gave me an honorary doctorate degree for different things I was doing in the community. And I began to see, like, when I would go out to places, the difference in the level of how I was treated based on putting the DR in front of my name. Or now when I say I'm a CEO or a psychotherapist license, it's just a difference how people treat you when there's a title. Now, recently, I took all my titles, credentials off my social medias. I, I hope I did. I know I did Facebook, Instagram, blah, 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 whatever. Took them off because... I had a conversation with God and God told me to get away from titles that so many people are stuck in titles and it's almost a mask. And so this is why I wanted to have my husband and I, we were just sitting down, listening to Garvey V. I don't know what even sparked the conversation of, cause he wasn't talking about that. What made you even no, say? I think he did say something about um, titles, but um, I forgot. So Honestly. anyways, we had a conversation and it just went into a full dialogue. I'm like, Hey, you know, I'm laying down on the couch. I'm like, let's get on the podcast and talk about this because I see it so many times where people really feel like their title validates them. Like, you know, or that's they, 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 their title. 
like they lose their identity and become their title. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I've seen a lot of people. Let me tell you a story of mine. I was at a repass, right? And we was talking about titles at the repass, me and my boy. And so this older lady was coming up. Never seen her. She didn't She didn't know me. And I told him, I checked this out, how titles change and everything. So when she came to introduce herself, I told her I'm Dr. D. And all of a sudden, because I was, I looked like the thug, you know, regular t-shirts. You people, not look like a people thug. in society would consider him like, you know, one of them thuggish guys. You know, even though I was dressed up, but it still had that thuggish swash. So when I told her my name, Doctor D, her whole her eyes just glue, and, and now she Literally. wanted to talk and give more information and talk. And I was like, Did she tell you she was a pastor or something? I forgot what she saying because I wasn't listening. But I, it was just a point of proving that when you introduce yourself and throw that doctor, people treat you totally different. Now they, you know what I'm saying, they feel like, damn, this person is of value. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm just a regular person. I ain't got no doctor, but um, my wife told me I can't be going around telling people I'm Dr. D because they might get the wrong uh, <laughs> wrong thoughts in their head wrong impression yeah so um that's just a, one of my examples of dealing with throwing the title around and um how people will entreat you totally different if you got a title in front of your name so go on Sunny. so going back to i like know, to cut her off she she just and she lose her thoughts of training I, I didn't lose my thought i just let you speak because i knew exactly where i was going with what i was saying so in the field of psychology, well, I'm not going to even say in the field of psychology. Life. Some, some people are just born. Well, everybody's born with a gift. I've always been analytical. I've always been a people reader. I read people very well. And so I was hiring. And so I was speaking to a psychologist, young girl, maybe like 26, 27. But the way she was speaking, I knew either she was in foster care some type of abandonment issues because I could tell the title was like her sense of importance. And to me, it was a turnoff because when you see when people have used their titles as a sense of importance, it's an arrogance that comes behind it. And I'm thinking little girl, uh, like you, my daughter's age, um, my daughter's 25. So I'm just like, okay. So then I'm like sizing her up. Seeing the arrogance in her, which I would never hire someone as arrogant because it's a total turnoff for me. And everything I thought about her was validated. But I'm saying all this to say this. So many times I see people like they have a title, but their character is not even a reflection of their title. And what I mean when I say that to me, when you say you're a doctor, you're a therapist, whatever, you're a teacher, there are certain things that I expect of a way that you would carry yourself that aligns with that title. I agree. And I want to bring it back to where everybody could relate to this one. I'm a Christian. That title, people love to throw around, but yet don't carry no Christian values or nothing like that. And a lot of them, even when you're doing business with people, they like to throw that Christian card to put your guard down and hustle you. Okay. So let me say this. I don't want to knock anybody. Well, I don't want to knock anybody body for not, truly upholding the title that they carry and i'm gonna tell you why so it's twofold right because as a christian everybody's in their own journey of walk you may be a baby christian you may be a seasoned christian but we're people at the end of the yeah day. but don't be trying to tear down listen, the next man listen so i got that a lot okay but listen you're taking it personal well i mean it well, is shit, a personal it podcast me. yeah but listen so this is my thing everybody as a teacher as a therapist as a doctor everybody's in a certain level of their journey, right? Nobody gets to the finish line overnight. So basically, I don't have a problem when you're not fully at your potential. This is what I have a problem at. I have a problem with when you use your title for as a manipulation to get what you want and is arrogant with this title, but yet you don't carry the expectation of what the title is. And that's what I meant when people want to throw around the Christian card. And but exactly, people, you just broke my example down. That's exactly what I'm talking about. But okay, when somebody says they're a Christian and they're not fully walking Because they be in trying that, to make you seem like they better. Oh, I'm a Christian. Well, I'm talking about my experience. When I'm out drinking, smoking, people want to throw, you know what I'm saying? But yet y'all doing other stuff that's behind the scenes, but yet you quick to judge the well, next that's, man. Well, that's the people I'm talking about. And you want to okay, throw so that card around. Like, 
that's like if you had a teacher that was like, hey, you know, I'm new in this. I'm still trying to figure out the teaching thing out, but I'm a teacher. That's one thing. But it's like you are a terrible teacher, can't teach, but yeah. When you in certain settings, you want to throw yes. out the teacher card. Yes. That's, that's what, what I'm, I'm saying. saying. Yes. So basically, that's what I'm talking about. So, yeah, if you're a Christian and, you know, you're trying to figure this thing out, like all of us, you're walking in this. That's one thing. But to use the Christian card as manipulation and like, hey, I'm an angel. Do business with me because I've had it happen. Or, hey, listen to every word I'm saying because I'm a Christian. You using it for to be manipulative. And it's not who you are. That's what I'm saying. Like, people hold these titles, but if you've seen them behind closed doors, your mind will be like, see, I always tell people, what you see with me is what you get. Online, offline. Anybody that knows me will tell you I'm really who I am online and offline. It doesn't change. This is who I am. It was crazy because it was so funny. One of my clients, she was listening to the podcast, and she was like, you you really who you are in session. Like, it, it doesn't change because I'm Sunia. The title the money, the whatever, the, the, the marital status, it doesn't change. We even usually have people that they're married and in front of, Oh, this drives me crazy. When a woman, you'll have a conversation with them in front of their spouse versus not in front of their spouse. I'm like, I don't think your husband know who they married. You know what I mean? Like yes, the conversation complete completely. Person. And I'll be like, whatever I'm saying with Demetrius is present. I'm going to say when he's absent, it I, doesn't, it I doesn't change. I experienced that a whole lot with my mom growing up. She was a whole complete different person um, without her spouse. I was like, wow, she, different conversations, different attitude. I was like, wow, you just, people be switching. And that goes back to titles, how people just switch around what environment they are. I don't even think it's an environment. I just think you're pretending to be somebody you're not. You know, you use it as leverage for benefit, but you, again, you use it as leverage for benefit, but you're not really carrying the expectation of the title. I feel like a lot of times people have titles to feel important. Like, for example, let's say you were never validated. You were overlooked. You were seen as the, the, the joke of the family. Nobody respected you. Then it's like you get this title and it's a sense of importance. But to me, that's really. And a, they try to hold on to it tight. It's a sense of uh, of lack of self, like uh, an inner conflict of I need this title to feel important or for validation. Your title should never validate you. It should add to you career wise. But why are we looking at titles as a because your title has doesn't have anything to do with your character, in my opinion. Well, in reality, because I see it all the time where people throw titles around and I'm just looking like I know you outside of this title i know you in real life like i've talked to people around you to know like yeah you you great in the therapy session but your life don't reflect in real life in your home what you're saying in therapy like your life doesn't really reflect in the doctor office what you do at home not to say that we're people because we are people you can ex uh separate personal and professional right so i get that but it's just it's mind-boggling to me when people use it for gain when it's like that ain't even the type of that's, person you represent though. that's like going to the um the family barbecue and you just throwing around your name i'm doctor i'm doctor i'm pastor i'm pastor but no some who, people even want their family to call yeah them, it's I'm like, like who is your, yeah that's you know what i'm saying that's not your 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 uncle you auntie, yeah, I remember you know what i'm family saying remember telling me like oh you gotta call me pastor at church and i'm like nah like at the end of the day like you're a, like just because i'm not gonna change what I'm calling you because we're in this setting. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, I wouldn't get at work and be like, oh, yeah, you know, call me the CEO. or Because at first, when my son first started walk, working with me, because we call him Papa, right? My husband's Demetrius. Both of their names is Demetrius. But I didn't want to confuse the staff and, like, calling him Papa because, you know, you have nicknames for family members. Like, nobody knows my son as Papa except for family like his friends call him Dimitri, Meech, his name. Like, so when he came to work for me, um, I would call him his name only so they could follow suit and call him his name. Yes, yes. It, but then, like, I was like, this, it don't even feel right with me calling my son that. Cause I, so I just pop it. And so I had to start explaining to him, yes, he, his name is like, yeah, we caught on. Um, 
But it's just like, I would never be like, oh, yeah, you have to call me Dr. Mile. You you know, you have to say I'm the C. Like, no, we. I'm your mom at the end of the day. I and would never make you call me something other than what I am. And that goes back to my story because now everybody know me as grind face in the streets. Which making is buzz. annoying. Family knew me as family, my family name. But now all of a sudden it's my transition when family start introducing me to people that don't know me. I'm grind face. It's like they taking it. They taking their family car away and putting their self in this situation of somebody that's really don't know me. Like you, you understand what I'm saying? Like it's Spanish. You, it's like you know what I'm saying. Girl, so boy. yeah, so you 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 taking it and now you, you using my name for leverage so you could get some kind of importancy of value to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Manipulation. Manipulation. So now you telling your kids this is. Grind Uncle face, grind face and all this and stuff, but I'm who I'm Demetrius. We ain't gonna say you know Uncle saying? grind face because none of our siblings has ever it's done like, that. So let's take that out. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? It's just an example when people transition to the whole taking the family card out into now this persona. That's kind of weird, in my opinion. It is weird. You, know, you, you your, hold me, you know me my whole life. You, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm grind face. No, the so people that, that don't know me. Know me as grind face, face. You know what I'm saying But people that know you Knows you by your name Or nicknames Or family names Yeah So Yeah so even with that Like I had a cousin Was like Oh yeah Where's grind face And I just looked at her Like To me it was a turn off And it actually made me Look at her different Cause I'm like Now you knew me for Over yeah Years Like Now he's grind face You've known him Okay let's put it like this I've been with him since I was 13 years old Right He's been around my family. So I had the type of father, like, you had to come to the house. You had to court me. You had to come over to family. So he's been around since we were little kids, you know? So for you to start calling him something else other than his name, it's like, what type of stuff you on? So now it's making me look at you different. What is the ulterior motive? Or I asked somebody that I don't even talk to. was like, oh, yeah, you know, um... I told my daughter, yeah, you were grind face, right? I'm like, you're my first cousin. Why would you be telling your daughter um, that's backwards? He's not even related to you. Or I have families, uh, family members where um, I'll run into somebody and they'll be like, oh, yeah, you're, you know, your 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 husband's cousin. I'm like, nah, that's actually my first cousin, but okay. You know what I mean? It starts to make you look at people with the titles and make you look at them like, you're, it's it's an ulterior motive and people of trying use, to gain yeah. some gain some leverage off. People use title and that's the that's the whole point of this podcast. It's like people use titles to validate and put themselves in a place of importance. You know, like I said, I took all the titles off my social media because I'm Sunia and I'm cool and okay with being just that because my name alone whole weight. And that's the more meaning of our podcast, man. That's why it's titled Grind Face and the Therapist. And we're talking about who we are. We we are outside our titles. She's not the therapist. She I'm not Grind Face. We are people. We regular people, you know what I'm saying, sharing our stories and opinions. Away from her titles that everybody put on us. I even want to go into now you have I'll let you tell your story. I don't even know what story you're referring to. Because we had a situation last night, when we ain't going to get into it, where people are now trying to, re- your dad's family. Oh, man, yeah. So, you know, um, I never had a father. My father was, he got killed when I was a baby. Um, My father's family never accepted me, never reached out to me, never anything. I'm 40, but 42 years old now. Now, since I became grind face, now all of a sudden I feel like, my You're dad, not 42. Well, shit, I'm 41, 42. I don't 41. know. I don't do the you math. I'm something. This year. You know, I'm 1980. I'm like, you know wait what a minute. What? I have to think Bottom about that. Line. You Somewhere 41. around, I'm about to turn 42 in November then. Yeah, like think, what? You know, when you get a certain age, you're like, who keeping count? Fuck it. I am. But at the end of the day, they never reached out. They knew where I was at. I was a kid. I wasn't part of the family. They wasn't telling me that wasn't, I wasn't my dad's son or whatever and all that. Well, you didn't even know him. I didn't know shit about him. You know what I'm saying? But they know of me. They knew I exist. Bottom line, this point I'm making. So now become now that I'm grind face, it's all of a sudden is everybody want to reach out. You're a cousin. You're um. But this uncle, is the crazy thing. You know okay, so this is the crazy thing. So he grew up in Pomona his whole life. So one day we were 16 because I had just I was pregnant with Mumu. His sister, his dad's daughter, knocks on the door and basically 
introduce her. So to me, y'all knew where he. So their family's from Pomona too. So y'all knew where he was at the entire the time. Entire time, but I was in no value. That's what I'm saying. People feel like if you know value, I care less claiming you as a cousin or whatever. A few you know what of I'm saying? them reached out, like your auntie Lisa always reached yeah. out. I give her that. Like she really genuinely wanted a relationship, right? Yeah, Lisa and Bruce reached yeah, out. Yeah, Bruce. They they've they've reached out and genuinely wanted a relationship. But when you get to a certain age, it's kind of harder to build a relationship when you've grown, in my opinion. It's like I'm like 40, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I got my own family to nourish and take care of. I don't have time to write, do outside and try to plant seeds on something like that. And it's not a desire for me. I don't know. Well, I, don't, I, I might I, be wrong. I I, I'll say this. I'll say this. And I tell you this all the time. It's the enemy and it's God, right? The enemy is always going to send people for distraction. God is always going to send people to elevate and promote growth. You just got to know who's being sent, right? Is they being sent to pray or are they being sent to be a blessing? And so I'm never going to tell you to just 100% close the door, but it does make it more like on Leary. guard yeah. because it's like, I don't know your motives. If you knew where I was at my entire life, okay, I'm going to give you an example. Same city. I'm, I'm going to give you an example. So this lady, she reaches out to him in his inbox trying to call. You know how you can call Facebook. You could basically make a phone call. So he finally tells her, like, check this out. Like, I don't know you. I don't want anything to do with you. Stop, like, stop sending me messages. Oh, I'm your aunt. Now, mind you, my whole family's from Pomona, too. So I know who... I know who everybody is. All I have to ask my auntie, uncle, my parents, like, oh, who is this? Who? So I already knew who she was when she first contacted him. I already did my research. I'm like, oh, she's this. She's connected. Da, 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 da. Right? So he tells her, like, hey, I don't want anything. Oh, I just want to get to know you and the kids. Mind you, she's not biologically related to him. She's biologically related to his aunt and uncle, which his dad had a different dad than his aunt and uncle. So she's related to them like through marriage on that side. So she's like, and this is the thing that be killing me when people think you don't know, because like, okay, I wasn't around my dad. So I don't know. Like my whole yeah. family's from Pomona. I know who's who, what's what, everything moving. So I always tell him like, Oh, this person's connected to this person, this, 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 this. So he tells her whatever, basically stop, stop contacting. Do you know this lady was like on all the posts, uh, I'm your auntie. Like she would always comment joke. and make the post to let people know. She like, related somebody. And I was like, so I told him, I said, check this out. Now in my mind from a wife, this lady is not blood related to you. This is a random woman. I don't know what she want, but I got a problem because now it's like, if you really love a family member, if they say, Hey, even though she's not related to him, Hey, I don't want to be bothered. You like, okay, cool. You're going to back that back. But when back, you back. keep, overly trying to like make yourself be a part now i'm like okay you got an arterial like, to be the, trying exactly. too hard and where was you at when i was a kid you're trying way where? too hard so then it goes it goes deeper so once she sees she can't get in through him right then she starts following me on instagram all in my inbox i'm like check this out lady you're not related to my husband so I had to break it down and really let this lady know, like, I know you're this, you're related to this, this, this. Like, I know the dynamics. And I was like, it's, I said, I feel like it's an ulterior motive because you're trying too hard. It's not a motive. All my social media to this day, keep trying. And it's like, I don't know if people think I'm the nice one, but I'm the analytical one. So when it comes to my family, ain't nobody getting in. It ain't supposed to be getting in. I'm like, oh, you think he mean? It's not that I mean. I'm not playing no games. And again, even if, Let's say he has aunts that are not biologically related to him, but they basically grew up. He, they grew, grew up, up as, so I would never be like, oh yeah, your auntie Donna, that's not your auntie. Like you, she was around since you was a kid. Like that's your auntie. But if you're a random woman that's related to this person through this period, this through marriage and you think you, nah, you just a random woman off the streets to me. That's the part that you're not understanding. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh no. So then it goes further. So my sister, which is his sister, I say she's my sister because we've been together so long. I've been with him since she was like, what, seven, six? So she like, yeah, I'm at um, my cousin's house. And some random girls is just like, hey. Um, no, so the cousins was like, hey, 
she's related to Demetri. So, of course, that's his sister. She looking like, no, she ain't. Like, oh, on the dad's side. Now, mind you, the crazy thing is she's going around telling people that she's related to him when she's not even really related to him. And so for me, when it comes to stuff like that, people don't understand when you make it to a certain level. And I don't even feel like we wear people's Nowhere. making it. Though. Like, I'm like, I, it, y'all making it like we Beyonce and Jay-Z up in this piece. And it ain't <laughs> we even. We are Beyonce and Jay-Z. It, but what I'm saying is. We the Pomona is, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Nah, I'm just saying, like, right. people really have, like, this impression. Like, I just, but I'm not an opportunist either. So, yeah, I'm never going to put myself in a situation to tie myself to somebody for an uh, ulterior motive. But I'm like, y'all out here really claiming, trying to connect the dots to really be in the presence of somebody because you think they, like, it's just this crazy is, yeah. to me. So where, was this, where were they at when I didn't have this title? You know what I'm saying? That was the key thing right there. When I was just the regular old motherfucker, they feel like they didn't have shit. Nothing to offer. But see, I ain't had none of my, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. But even in the sense of, it's now it's like they're using grind face to say, hey, I'm related to this person so then they can have a sense of importance. It's kind of like if Beyonce was like my fourth cousin. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm related to, and Beyonce don't know who I am, but I'm saying it because now this makes me Be- important. important. Yes. This gives me credibility. This makes you look at me and deal with me because, you know, there's opportunists because just like I'm being an opportunist, I'm going to attract an opportunist. Now the opportunist knows that I'm Beyonce's cousin. So now they're going to try to do stuff basically yes. for me because now they want to get close to Beyonce. And so when I look at stuff like that, it just it, it bothers me. And I'm like, dang, babe, like we really got to move different because I don't care if you are blood related to him. You come in now that he 41. I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know what you want, what you want. And so people don't understand. It's like I don't have a desire to connect with you because in reality, dude, look, I don't believe in blood ties. Cain killed Abel. That was his brother. I don't, and because of a, he had a loyalty to his brother and probably thought his brother would never do that. I don't believe in blood ties. I got family members that ain't even blood related to me. And I got family members as blood related. And I don't deal with it at all. Cause they would probably come up in my house and rob me or something. So I don't really look at blood ties. Like that's family. Family is to me is the people I can count on rock with and going to have my best interest at heart. And if I clocked out tomorrow, I'm going to make sure my kids is straight. Ooh, coins right there. You get double coins on that one. Right. So that's, there. that's family to me. So when you come around throwing this family car, that means nothing. And I'm like a lioness. I protect my family at all costs. So I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she protect, You're not protect me from me. <laughs> Real talk. I'm going to hit the coin. Because you, you got to be mindful. Like, you know, we had a podcast before about access. But basically, who you giving access to you? It just is mind-blowing. Like, I'm growing up in the church. I would watch people do stuff because of these titles. And I'm like. This is crazy. They got a whole saying just because the titles of the PK, you know what I'm saying? Pastor kids got their own little title because they kids of pastors. And you know what I'm saying? But People, it's a bad, it's, it's actually, you know, it's actually a negative connotation because they're saying like PKs usually but, are the worst. It, but they still, it's a title. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you think about it, it's still, they gave them the kids of pastors a title, mm-hmm. PK. Now everybody knows, oh, those are the PKs. You, let's, you know what I'm saying? Now you might get relationships, friendships, because now it's a motive because you got that title as a PK. And like church, like church titles don't even hold weight how they did when I was growing up. Now, like influencers, stuff like that is like the new celebrities and whole weight. But it's just like. Because the internet switched the whole game up. The internet switched the whole mm-hmm. game up. But it, I'm just saying, just. If you moving based on or dealing or want to connect with somebody based on who you think they are, like you really need to do a self check and really ask yourself. I'm all about intentions. He'll tell you this. I'm all about like, even if I go somewhere, my question is, why do I want to go? You know, I'm always thinking and and challenging myself. Why are you doing what you're doing? You know what I'm saying? And and that's why I removed the stuff. I had a conversation with God, removed the title. Like, what do you need to know that I have an honorary doctorate? I have a master's. I have this, like, I'm a, what does all that matter? Like, why does that matter of the credentials? Cause I think it opened up doors with opportunists. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to attract opportunists. And that, I mean, a lot of people have 
I mean, say 80 percent in this game is opportunities because they people's not going to help you unless it helps them. True. You know what I'm saying? And I've seen that for a long. If they don't have a, a, a percentage or anything in, in, the, in the pot, they ain't going to help you. They ain't going to share your name. They ain't going to put you out there because they can't benefit. And see, that's the difference with me. But that's wrong. I'm going, I'm going, I believe in planting seeds with people and helping them grow because I might fall. And these people that I planted seeds and help grow without wanting nothing could help me back up. Because you, you know didn't what I'm saying? want anything. Exactly. And that's that's how I feel. And I feel like if somebody, an opportunist, you help them get put on and you want to a, a, a cut a percentage. And when you fall, they ain't going to help you because they paid the fee. At the end of the day, hey, I bought it. You paid the fee. I'm, I'm going to go back and help you up. And so I believe in planting seeds and doing stuff out the genuine of your heart and them. God's going to turn around and bless you, man. At the end of the day, it's like just Amen. do stuff the right way, and you never know where that go. Because sometimes you wasn't meant to get to the top, but that person you help might exceed you and get to the top and help you get to the top. You know what I'm saying? People don't think like that. No, they don't. It's it's all what I can get from it. You know, um, just being a genuine person in life, to me, gets you much further than trying to get something out of someone. You know what I mean? Like, I do things without even, and people will vouch for this. I've done things for people with nothing, nothing from the situation. Same here. Nothing from the situation because I'm doing it genuinely to help you. I'm not looking at it. And I think that that's. you. It's, I think it's part of wanting to see everybody win. If you have that in you, you want to see everybody win. You don't have no problem I don't think throwing it's them. About seeing in, everybody you know what I'm win. saying? I think it's just being a selfless person. The same thing. It's just it's humanity. Like Want to see the person win. It's you know the same I mean? thing. Humanity. You just rephrased like, it. If I see somebody using bigger words, that's all. <laughs> if I see somebody hurt, am I gonna grab the phone or am I gonna help? You know, uh, that's different. You can't do that because I'm gonna grab nah, the phone. I'm, I'm gonna help, and and I get on you every. I'm time. gonna help. With one hand and record with the other nah, hand. And I, I get know, on you know him every saying? time. That's... I get on him so much. He'd be like, oh, this person, look, look I, I snatched the phone. Like, don't do that. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, this is a person. I just have a heart for people, period. You know, some of the videos, we'd be like, oh, do you, what do you say? Because they know my personality. They'll be like, oh, I was just thinking, what was Sania sitting here thinking? Because I'll be the one to delete it. We'll probably get into it because I used to do that in the past. Like, don't do, I'm like, dude, like, don't. Yeah, and I'll don't be the one that. tell them to shut the fuck up. Yeah, see, yeah, and I'll be like, babe, don't, don't do that. And then we get into it. No, she get into it because I ain't got into it. No, she, we get it. We done had some disagreements over some videos no, she, that I'm like, dude, she, she like, want to come monitor what I post. It ain't get monitoring. Like, if somebody this come nigga to you send me the video and, and post it. Nah, somebody come to you respectfully. The saying, lady, take it down. The, take now it we're down. gonna talk about this video right here because it was basically her son was out there trying to be a crip. She whooped his ass and she whooped the crip out of him. That ain't even a video. I'm well, that was, about. but that was one of them. She hit me up and asked, "Can I remove it?" But my thing is, you recorded this video and posted it on social media. Don't get mad when the social media start reposting it. You put it out there. You can't get mad at me because I reshared it. Listen. Then you put it out there for Listen. people to see. I'm giving it Listen. so people can see. We human. She whipped the crip out his ass. <laughs> <laughs> we human. Everybody has a lapse of judgment. I mean, she probably was thinking that it wasn't going to go viral, and she was just trying to teach her son And a then lesson. she learned a lesson. Even though I feel like you, humiliation is never the lesson with, with your kids. That's like scarring and, and damaging the self-esteem. However, my thing is I always just look at a situation. If that was me, I'd have made some dumb decisions and like, hey, can you take that back? I'm even going to this. I don't even know how you're going to feel like this, but I'm going to say it anyways. When you did the podcast and I was sitting there and I was hot at you for for a comment, they asked you like a sexual question. You caught me off guard, but shit, that's part <laughs> of the game. I was learning as I go. I mean, So shit. we had a podcast and I'm sitting there and they tell me like, hey, what did they say? Like this is no disrespect for you. Just they send it off the air. We just, this is the part of the, the part of the podcast that we do. I've never listened to their podcast. And they asked him something about oral sex, some crazy questions. And I'm looking at this dude, like, trying to maintain my composure, being professional. But I was hot, like, hot. And so I'm like, we get in the car, we get into a bit. Because I'm like, you're married. Like, you shouldn't even 
answered those questions. Somebody asked me something like that. I'm be like, that don't even apply to me. There's no reason for me to even elaborate on it. I'm not single. And so, but that didn't refer to being single anyway. It's like, what are you talking about? But it about? don't matter if you ask in an oral sex conversation, we've been married as long as we marry you. That, that question doesn't apply to you. You shouldn't even be, you shouldn't even be answering that question. But to get to the point, he asked them to remove it. They did. My point is we always were people. Sometimes we have a lapse of judgment, right? Sometimes we're in the moment. Sometimes we're not thinking. And for me, I just think of the situation like if that was me. Like, so somebody saying, hey, you know, can you remove that? Certain times I'm like, yeah, like probably. That's why she don't run Grind Face TV. That's exactly why. You said it wouldn't be shit on the page. <laughs> <laughs> It would be a total different page. That's one hundred percent true. It would be just like her page, boring. What? Oh wait. Okay. Y'all go check her page okay. out. Y'all go okay. check her Instagram. By it. tell okay. me it's not boring. Yeah. Hold on. Because now I'm. You lying. go to Grind Face Hold TV. On. You're gonna be entertained. You're gonna Hold be on. watching. She can't even lie because she be watching too. I you know don't. what I'm saying? And a lot of people. Now you a lying. lot of people be watching. They just people don't engage like, and be comment. Me like, oh, they be watching oh, the video, such and such and such and such. I be like, what video? Half of the time, I don't even be knowing what they be Look, talking this about. This is this is how you know somebody watching when you hear that. Well, I face. don't be watching. I'm like, oh yeah, they on my every page. every blue moon. I go watch, page. but people be telling me stuff that's going on with the page, and I be like, huh, what? Which 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 page? But anyway, we get back to this, the title. Hold on, we got hold on nah, because you just said nah, your page. We is, not, no, no, we no, just no, say no, no. to the average see, consumer no, 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 no. on the internet, they would consider your page boring. I, I just to the, to I told the, the fam, your followers, y'all go look at her page and y'all get back to us and let us know is it following? It's boring. Or and, not. and guess what I'm gonna tell you? I don't. You go. Care. You go to my page, my personal page. Oh man, you would feel like you you traveling the world with me, man. It's, that's how interesting. Okay. It. Okay. You know what I'm if you go on her stories and watch, you just watching my stories reshare. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> shit, you want the experience. You, you go to my page. Okay, you get the this experience. is the difference with public and private. Like I'm a very private person, right? Some stuff I got to stop him for. Like, look, check this out. He's private. Well, he actually he shows you what he wants you to see. But for me, um, I just don't believe in living my whole life on social media. Like you'll never know who my close friends are by looking at my page. Somebody was like, "Oh, you don't even post your kids." Like, and like. You don't need to know all that. She's like, hiding from the CIA. No, I ain't hiding from anybody. I just don't give people access to my life like that. Like, you don't need to know everything about my life. And that's why I don't follow certain family members on social media. Like, it's a lot of family members I don't even follow. And it's on purpose because I shouldn't know that you beefing with this other cousin. And I ain't talked to you in two years. I shouldn't know that. I shouldn't know that you're subbing your kid's father on social media. And I ain't seen you and six I shouldn't know that like and so for me it's just certain stuff I feel like if you don't know a person up close and personal it's just certain things you just shouldn't know just by watching social media so yes I'm very private you know I don't have anything to hide but at the same time like I'm not giving you access to my life like that you don't need and see my page I'm like to inspire people man because I, I, I came from nowhere yeah my personal page I inspire I like to inspire people that they could do it too you know you what like saying? to trigger people that's on my business page um, with the baby yeah. powder I mean with the the baby form you like to trigger people well I know how to get engagement that's different that's like so are you that's, trying to get hold on that's, hold on, hold on, hold on. that's so, business hold on. you you so confusing you business to, with personal are you trying to get me engagement by saying my page is, is boring exactly so them viewers oh. you go be nosy and go look I, and you I, just I felt, took it too personal. I, I, I felt some type of yeah, way. exactly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, but the most people don't listen. Are to go about to go look and be like, "Oh, her page ain't boring. It's cool." You know what I'm saying? Because they nosy. The consumers is nosy. Yeah, and you, I know how to like market that. like that. And see how fast she took it personal. And that's what I do on my business page. I trigger emotions. But on my personal, I'm, wait, I'm supposed to take it personal. This is my husband saying <laughs> I'm boring. Like if it was a random person, I wouldn't uh, care. Like this is a person I sleep with every night. Yeah, I'm gonna take you know it what personal. What you mean? She didn't understand the, the marketing strategy she missed over her head. But look, my personal page, I like to inspire people, show me traveling, seeing stuff because where I come from, a lot of people is not coming from and, and, and accomplishing things, and it's it's possible. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to be out there doing some crazy shit to get there, but. If you work hard at what you're, you're grinding for, doors will open. Just keep pushing it. And that's why I like to show my personal inspiring things. And, but on my business day, I just in, in trigger emotion out of people. You know what I'm saying? The engagement, run the engagement up and just run the bag up. People don't understand there's money behind this marketing thing and social media. 
And that's a whole different other podcast of the business behind social media and how I'm surviving off the business of social media. But back to titles. Yeah, the the one thing I would say, quit referring to me as grind face wife. And I and I do this on purpose. When people be like, Are you grind face wife? I'd be like, Grind face is a business, not a person. Who she get that? mad because nobody be like, Hey, that's you doctor um husband? Nah, 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 nah. This is no, no. no. This is the thing. And a lot of people don't, don't know this. But get people that know this, people that know us from day one, I had a buzz before he even had a buzz. I just stopped posting videos and stuff. Let's not play. See, look, there you go. She's Let's trying to not level play. Up. That's she's trying to level up. I ain't trying to level away. up. I'm just t- saying because I wasn't a content facts. creator. First of all, I'm saying facts. I had a buzz before people even knew who Grindface was. So y'all, if y'all listening, please do not refer her to Grindface wife. She don't like that. No. Cause I'm an individual, and at the end of the day, who's gr- like they see you as grind face? That's 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 not a title for me. I know you. Yeah, but that's how you differ on um, different how people know me. You differentiate know what I'm saying? between the yeah, two. Yeah, because if you, you if you if you refer to me to grind face, you really don't know me personally. You know what I'm saying? You don't know Demetrius. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and that's what I was we, I was saying earlier. You put yourself in a different lane when you calling me grind face because it's like. You don't know. You you trying to get you trying to get leverage of what I'm going to say leverage by saying you know grind face, but at the same time the real people be like, "Well, you really don't know the man." You don't Demetrius. know who that is. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You just like, the other, you know what I'm saying? Cuz when they ask that like, "Are you grind face wife?" I be like, "I don't know who that." No, no, they be like, "Yeah, I don't who who?" No, yeah, I'm not so married to grind face. It's more impressive if you know Demetrius because a lot of people don't. But people don't get no social gratification from knowing Demetrius. So let's even go like expound further on titles. You know, um, let's how people hide their true. You know, I want to put it, emotional brokenness with their title. Um, like people could be so damaged, and yet they have this title, and people will overlook their damage because of their title. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's how pastors are able and priests are able to molest but you, kids you, because they, you know, that's a good example. But I was going to say, stop, title, let's, let's, they, let's drive away from the church because no, everybody but, can't relate to being the pastor and priest. But what I'm saying is that's how people, even a teacher or just even an uncle, an aunt, this is how people are able to molest your children because you assume based on that title. Because it, it comes with a certain expectation. It comes with a certain value. Oh, my uncle wouldn't do that. But let, I'm going to tell you to the streets because a lot of people. Even, even Everybody with, got an aunt and uncle. No, even to the streets because I've seen old people or are still doing not. it. Um, Because it's a lot of broken people and just lost and, and, and don't have nowhere to go and just confused. But they hold on to this game banging title. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a blood. I'm a crip. And this is who they are. And they hide behind this title. I mean, I I'm think, not just wait, talking about kids. I'm talking about grown, grown men, folks. Yeah, is still hiding behind because that's all they have. I don't think they're hiding behind it. I think if you take the super crip or super blood away from them, they have nothing. Who, who are no, you? No, 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 no. They have something, but they haven't. They haven't built their identity enough to even know who they are. So if you snatch that away, they're naked. They're unclothed. They have no idea of who they are. And that's psychologically a problem. Like, so if you took away doctor, you took away LMFT, you took away CEO, you took away author, you took away speaker, mother, wife, I'm Sunia. And I'm cool with being Sunia. Many times they don't know who they are. And they like to feel and pour, oh, that's, that's OG, triple OG, blood. That You know what I'm saying? So yes. it makes them, when they come on the block, somebody younger than them looking up to them, and that makes them feel important. Yes, that title of that street name, Earl. That nobody knows their real name, Earl. Earl. You know what I'm they saying? They just know like, OG. You, yeah, yeah. So once you super take crit, that, super blood. But outside of that, who are? And I'm gonna say this, and this is off topic. When we talking about DPS, people talking about they DPing people because they not coming to hood. That y'all need to start DPing people not for not being, being fathers. fathers. OK, that <laughs> needs to be you know because it's like you more worried about being a hood day for another man. My husband said the funniest thing like a few months ago, and I, I kind of believe it. It's, this is off topic, but I always say funny shit though. But you don't. But um, he said back in the day, dudes got fly for women, like for girls to like to impress the ladies. 
He said, dudes is out here trying to impress other dudes. And y'all seeing y'all straight. Like, y'all trying to impress other men by clothes, by cars, by basically, oh, I'm at hood day. I, I done shot. I done had Toughness. more. But yeah. And at the end of the day, it's like, this is just off topic. It, it holds dear to me because one of my little sisters was like, this dude made it all the way to California for hood day and didn't even see his kids. So you more worried about impressing some dudes to be at a hood picnic than impressing your kids. But that's a whole other story. But, but anyway, that's where their title holds at from the game. That's their title. That's who they should they, dad be an important title. What value that being a dad brings. And that's part that's part on, of the problem on, in on, our society. On. Longevity, because these dudes but, at the end of the day. It's no 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 recognition on you being a great dad. Why People not? don't care about you being a dad, but they care about you being a shooter, stepper, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you, you, but wait till you get locked down. These niggas is nowhere around. But your kids will be there if you invest in your kids, your family. So it's not being it's not a cool thing to have that dad title. That's you know what crazy. I'm saying? That's crazy. Yeah, that, that even far back to titles because that dad title. People don't like to throw around that dad title. I'm a dad. I'm a father. You know what I'm saying? They don't. I've heard women say dudes actually have lied about having kids. I'm like, who does that? Like, who disowns their kids? To, to oh, get a phone number. blame the guys now. You got the mothers <laughs> out there, too, that don't, you know saying, what I'm saying? I'm like, like, it go both ways, but I'm just thinking I, I couldn't imagine myself being single. Like, nah, I ain't got no kids. Like, huh? Yeah, I got all my kids. I never had a problem claiming my kids. No, you didn't. Because no. I, had, I had no problem taking care of my kids. See, I think that's become a shame. People could become ashamed when they ain't stepped up to the plate and take care of their kids. So now they try to hide that they are a dad. Because if you if you're going to meet a woman, they'd be like, and you say you a dad, they're going to be like, where are your kids? Oh, I don't see them. You know what I'm saying? You ain't taking care of your kids, you a deadbeat. So they lose leverage. So it's easy nah, for them to lie and say they don't leverage. have kids to try to get the booty. You know what I'm saying? Because if you say you leverage. have kids and they feel like, well, some of the women care less. You know what they I'm saying? They don't care. I have no respect for a woman. I have no respect for a woman that can lay down with a man and he don't take care of his kids. You worse than him. You worse than him. Yeah, so let's bring that dad title to um, popularity, man, because it's awesome to be a dad and step in that role, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Dad title. We got to trend that dad. Even um, Girl Dad, Kobe started that one. You know what I'm saying? The proud boy, That's that, what that everybody was good, wanted to be. Now yeah, they want to showcase their kids. And, and, but look, not even I'm their kids, dad. their daughters. Yeah, I'm a girl dad. Like, But that's, that's the bad thing of society because now you're just trying to follow a trend. You wasn't doing this before that, but now you want since it's popping on social media, I'm a girl because dad. Because titles. That title makes you feel important. I'm a girl dad. I'm important. I'm but were you I'm not gonna say everybody, but it's like were you proud to be a girl before dad that. before yes. that? And so that's what I'm saying. The the importance of, of what's cool. People feeling validated based on a title. Like, I'ma say this all through the podcast. Like I'm okay with being Sania. I love Sania. I love the my <laughs> She loved being Sania. You know what? <laughs> and why does it sound like Bart Simpson? <laughs> oh, because that's probably who it was. DJ, hit it one more time. Um, the, <laughs> it's the little kid on Bart Simpson. Ain't that the little fat boy on Bart Simpson, the bully? Yeah. Um But no, I'm 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 comfortable with being me. Cause I'm enough. You know what I mean? Like I'm validated, stamped, and approved. God, I think that, that falls into a being a leader also. You know what I'm saying? If you're strong-headed and being a leader, a lot of things won't influence you to doing stupid stuff. Are you even thinking how I think other people... I think uh, you could be a leader and still fall prey to influences. I don't think nobody's above it. I just think you have to basically self-reflect. And again, I'm always checking in with me. You know, what are you doing this for? Why aren't you doing this? Like, what? what... What is the re? I'm a reason. So why? Person. How? How can somebody self reflect and see if they stuck on titles like for their self? So when you basically start engaging with somebody, okay, why do I want to speak to this person? Why do you got to ask yourself true hard like reality? Like, and this is the thing: people are embarrassed to be vulnerable and actually tell somebody like, "Oh, y'all ain't connected them because they got a title and you know it's such and such and they could do this for me." You're not gonna tell somebody else that, right? No, because you might be embarrassed by that. But, but you, you could be, be real you with be, yourself. You be looked at as an opportunity. Yes, you could be real with yourself. You know what I'm saying? And many times you already know why you're doing it. But you're not going to say it. But if but if you lying to yourself and trying to convince yourself and you can't be real with yourself, that's a whole other topic in podcast overall. 
Because the one person you should be able to look in the mirror with and be real with is you. Ooh, coin. Oh, it's not the ha ha. That's the coin. Because if you can't be real with yourself, who could you be real with? Damn, that's deep. No. I get a coin for that one. You just Ooh. throwing away coins. Uh, it's no such thing as throwing away coins. So, I meant to say throwing around. I just but. remixed what you said and put it in my own words so I could use that audio clip so for what I say. Bam, re- boom. Marketing 101. Regurgitated <laughs> what I said. Okay. But anyways, no, seriously, like, if you can't self-reflect and ask yourself them hard questions, I, you, I don't know. I just feel bad for you because I'm always asking myself, the hard truths, you know, even if it's something I don't want to hear because it makes me be a better wife, a better mom, a better person, a better CEO. Hold on, hold on, hold on, because I'm about <laughs> to pull your card. Pull it. Because it, I was looking, we was riding home. The other day we was riding home from, uh, what is it? Um, Where? Maestro's. Maestro's. Maestro's, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And her car was tripping. It, it, she just felt like the valet did something, right? They did do something. Hold on, car. let me tell my side of the story because you, you, these title shit that you on. Oh, I'm about to pull your car deep. So basically, her say. car was doing a little jump and was switching gears. She's trying to say the valet did they something. Did. So she called the restaurant and left a message and said, "This is Doctor Mile." I sure did. Whoop de whoop whoop whoop. Why you throw the title out? You know why? You know why? Because I know them. Based on who you speak it to, because they're opportunists based on what you say there. Let me tell you something. I, I'm not an ulterior like motive person, but I am wise and I do know when to use and when not to. Use, so, you, right? so, you know, using the title is going to open some situations. No, 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 I wasn't using it for arrogance. I was using it because the gang something. No, 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 no. It's mine. Your valet people <laughs> messed up my car. But I know if I say this, okay, for a prime example, we just had a conversation with our sister-in-law and brother-in-law. His brother and his sister, our sister-in-law, yesterday. They were saying, so his brother's wife is white. So she told her black friend, her black friend needed some baby for him, but she called State of Brothers. Ooh, I wish they would have recorded this. Oh, yeah, this. I told them y'all missed the And moment. she says that they like, oh, we ain't got no baby formula. So then her kid's father, who's black, Calls and asks for the baby formula. They say they don't have none. So then she like, I'm going to call white girl. Put on her white girl voice. They have baby formula. So I do understand the dynamic. If I say, yeah, this is Sania, your valet. Of course, I wouldn't say it like that. I would say it professionally. But the Sania name alone, even though it's Arabic, people just assume it's a ghetto made up name. That alone is going to block doors for me. But if I say Dr. Mayo, oh, yeah, you're, I'm definitely getting the call back. And so it's not that I'm using it for an ulterior motive. I understand in society how my name plays against me. So uh, what do you say? It's like a drug then for people to throw their titles because they know they're going to get a certain type of reaction. So when they get this reaction, it's like, damn, I got to throw my name, that title around here. I got to throw that because this the reaction. I like the reaction I'm getting from this title. So now I'm throwing it down at the family barbecue. I'm throwing around because now I'm addicted to this attention and the title of reaction I get from it. Not never have I ever told somebody to call me that. Even but I'm saying people that hide behind their titles. You you want to think they get addicted to no, the results think they of, get addicted. you know what I'm saying? Do, I do think they get addicted. But I'm always going to put stuff in perspective. People can't see us. They don't know us. This is a podcast. So when you just start saying that, after you're going to throw out the, the valet people messed up my car. Go personal. Nah, yeah. we gotta. These people don't know me. And I understand people going to take things out of context how they want to. But if I can make it clear and you still take it out of context. It's going to chop and edit you. and use the piece they want. It's Shit, true, that's all how the game goes. But at the end goes. of the day, go back and watch the full, the, the, listen to the, the full podcast. The internet too slow to do that. And, well, that's on you. But I'm always going to make it clear so there is no room for mis- like misunderstanding. But what I'm saying is even with my company. I've never told them to call me that. I don't even know why they start. One person came, got hired, and started saying it. Then everybody starts saying, I always introduce myself as Sania. Unless it's a sense in business, and it's not that I'm trying to get anything from you, but I understand, like, I would never get hired. Like, it's a lot of job because of my name alone, especially the way it's spelled. People are not thinking. (laughs) Hold on, hold on, because you said hired because of your name. I got many interviews because of my name. But I never got the job because they seen I was black. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. So he was Hispanic on here. Interview, interview, interview. Coming interview. 
it's same thing with my name and i i hate the society like when i see a name like my, my like mine people trip out because my first question is what does your name mean because i'm wise enough to understand every name is not made up and some names are a a, a language like mine and so i always ask that question but i also know my name it it, it closes doors for me so it's not that i'm being opportunist I know that you already have a negative connotation of me based on my name alone. So, yes. Did I do that? Yes, I did. Did they mess up my car? Yeah, I don't know what they did to my car. But tomorrow morning, I'm taking my car to, to Mercedes and asking them to do a diagnostic because, yes, I do think that people did something to my car. Okay. So, can we go back to the question at hand? What's the you question? just went right back to yourself. but See, you forgot the question. Now, do you I think the question. Do you think if people... It's a addiction. And should it be some type like I AA? Said, wait, 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 should wait. Should it be wait. some type of on, AA class or something? Off. I'm going to cut you off because you, you you made it like I was self-centered. I took I answered your question oh, a long time goodness. ago. I answered your question a long time ago. I answered your question and then said what I had to say. I said yes. But I you didn't even finish a, the whole question. Now let me get back to what I was saying. Now since people could get addicted to having a title and throwing around the title, because they get in some type of self gratifications or doors opening, or they basically they like the reaction they get when they throw their title around. Now, should this be something like counseling, um, AA meetings for like to get out having that addiction? Because it really is an addiction. What type of addiction would you say that is? Like, I don't think it's an addict. Well, okay, it can be an addiction, but. I- I don't think it, it stems from addiction. My biggest thing is if you go to the doctor. But it's fulfilling something. No, I think you got to get to the root of the problem. If I go to the doctor and I have a cold, the, 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 the runny nose, the runny eyes, the cough, that's the symptoms. But where's the root of the problem? How did it manifest? So when we talk about manifestation of the addiction, it comes from a low self-esteem, not feeling valid validated there not we go feeling important keys there so it goes it's really an inner issue that you feel like you have to use this to feel a sense of i'm somebody and a title shouldn't make you feel like i'm somebody you should feel like i'm somebody because you are somebody hey amen man that's a coin you know what i'm saying i gotta chop and edit that one up because it's self what'd you say again insecurities it was it's what inner issue inner issue of you, you lost me with all them big fancy words and stuff. You know what I'm oh saying? Goodness. It's like I didn't basically, even say anything. <laughs> that's what I keep trying to tell you. You ain't saying shit all on this podcast. <laughs> so then why you want to do the podcast? Man? Oh, man. Goodness. I came home because, to you said, Because I'm trying idea. to ride your, your fan. You said you had all this clout before me, so I'm trying to tap into yeah, that clout yeah, and be an opportunist yeah, yeah, and run with yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? I, I woke like up, shit. I had all these ideas. But I, look, yeah, the um, basically, you guys, people that's throwing around their titles is basically lacking something that they feel they're not important to something. So they that title. They don't feel like they're valid they, as a person. Very valid. That's the word. They don't feel valid, and that titles validates them. So when you see somebody at the family barbecue throwing around titles That's and stuff. That's just crazy and weird. They, oh, yeah, I'm feel, Dr. Belit- like Yeah, what? it's like this family. You know what I'm saying? Like, who are you? It's like, yeah, so when you see people throwing away them titles, it's, it's a validation for them. It's, it's like, don't feed into it. Tell them and call them by their real name. Oh, another thing I do is I always tell my two dope staff, love them, brag about them all the time. What about sure. the other staff? You shouldn't do that. I love all of my staff dearly, but I'm putting something in context when I'm saying this. So Christopher and Shariah Lupian, young couple, um, 27, 28, basically about to be doctor, psychologists. I always tell them when we go out, I always tell my Hispanic staff, black staff, when we go out, make sure I tell them to say the title, not for validation, but to let these kids that look like them inspire know they could do it too. And I, and, and when they don't say, I get mad. I'm like, look, they need to see somebody that looks like them that can, that, so they can feel like they can accomplish what you've accomplished. Now, I'll say that's a good way to use your title it, to inspire others. That is possible. You know what I'm saying? That's like president Obama. You know what I'm saying? If he's just going around saying he like Obama, Obama yeah. people don't. But when you thought he was president, now the younger generation could be inspired that I could be that too. So with so, you know titles, yeah. yeah, I do use titles in that sense. And I'm big on my staff, like uh, my director, she has her master's and I tell her these Hispanic little girls, they need to know this. 
They need to see this. Like, so I do tell them when they introduce themselves, say what they do and put their title behind it because we're not just going to these schools to be seen. We're going to these schools to affect change. You know, we're going in front of these kids to affect change. And so when it's titles used in that sense, 100 percent, I'm going to do it every time. So, people, the lesson on this podcast, man, use your titles to inspire others. Don't use your titles for self-gratification. Come on, guys. You could do better than that. <laughs> and thank you for tapping in. We're going to wrap it up. You can find me on all social medias. I am Grindface. You can find her at Sunia Mayo. And until next episode, we out of here. Bye.